This poor man has just been slaughtered by a vampire. The body's still warm. Take a breath at it! Oh, fuck! He's dead!
It's locked, all right. Good evening, miss. Good evening, sir. My name is Giselle Paxton. Have we met before? No. But I just need to look at your fancy clothes to know that you must... That's quite judgment. Sir, I've led enough strikes when I had a job. May I ask what... I'm killing myself scraping for a living. As I told you, I'm... Oh, a doctor. Hmm. Why such hatred? Of course I am. Fuck, you're so blind! What can you tell- Tell you what. Just spend a few weeks here, and then- If you have something to say- Oh. You want information instead? You don't know me, Miss Paxton, and yet- oh, Your manners, your clothes, your words, tell- You're right. I have never suffered from poverty. But that doesn't mean I don't fight it and its consequences. I really doubt you ever had to fight for anything in your life, Dr. Reed. You speak of strikes and... You bet I am. You lost your job. Those bastards really hate a worker who ref... Isn't the whole point of trade unions to help workers in need? Why don't they support you? A few nights back, I lost the money my companions had asked me to hide. With me and my sister being penniless, they thought I stole it. What really happened? I drank to... ...too much that night. Strange men saw me count the money in that bar. Some sort of militia, in uniform. I'm sure they robbed me. I'm looking for sh What is it you want? Does he owe you money? Has he displeased your royal highness? I'm no snitch, Mr. Fancy Pence. Well... Good evening, miss. I'm Dr. Jonathan Reed. Can I help you? A fancy doctor lurking at night by the docks? <laughs> Not fishy at all. And what about you? Working outside at night in this dangerous part of town? You want to know my secret? I'm trying to earn money. And I'm Lottie Paxton, by the way. Is it not dangerous to work here at night? As long as I have good legs, I can run away from trouble. The sad saint now provides me and my sister a bed and a roof. I don't want to lose that. Are you homeless, Miss Paxton? Mr. Hampton's night asylum is our new home now. It's a safe place for me and my sister. What can you tell me about the sad saint? It's just the nickname of Sean Hampton, the sad saint of the East End. He gave me shelter. And he's not always sad. What can you tell me about this place? How are things here? It may be okay for a strong girl like me, but a dandy doctor from the city like yourself. You better watch your back, Mr. Reed. You really think I should go back to a safer place, miss? No. I think you had better stay and help as many people as you can. Just avoid the wet boot boys. Those bastards are worse than the epidemic. Which local dangers must I avoid? Well, the gangs, the thieves, the drunks, the jobless. A man with your fancy clothes will attract a lot of attention. Well, I am not someone so easily intimidated. Glad to hear that. And if you get into trouble, you can always seek help at Sean Hampton's shelter. No one would dare to be violent there.
I'm looking for Sean Hampton. Can you help me? Mr. Hampton must be in his office at the night asylum he manages, I suppose. Why do you want to see him? He was a patient of mine at the Pembroke Hospital, but he left abruptly. I see. Well, Mr. Hampton is a discreet and dedicated man. I'm sure you'll find him soon enough. Goodbye, Miss Paxton. This must be a picture of the bomb explosion Dyson Delaney spoke of. It's locked. Why the long face, Doctor? Is it all that worries you, Sean? My long face? Really? This is a blessing for me to become a Skull. Immortality gives me more time and energy, if truth be known, to run a shelter. What more could I want? Since you left Pembroke, the amount of blood that has been shed, it's hard to believe you, Sean. Ask what you will. As the Lord is my shepherd, I will not speak a lie to you. Aren't you afraid of what... We are blessed, Doctor. Can't you see it? The Lord has made us able to walk amongst the plague and aid those that need it. Do you think this is a blessing when God's own house and holy symbols repel you? If that is your burden, Doctor, so be it. But I do not fear the cross, nor am I forced to take the life of another. My kind doesn't share your imperfections. But you must drink blood now to survive. No, not your scripture. Whoso eateth my flesh and drinketh my blood hath eternal life and I will raise him up at the last day, so saith the Lord. I only need to eat flesh, no blood. 
Why return here? This is my home. These people are my flock. You will always find me where I am needed. Wonders never cease. Skull managing an asylum. And what of you? A vampire doctor? Meals laid out before you? Yet you restrain? And what about William Bishop? He tried to take care of you. But this hunger, this thirst, cannot be restrained. Alas, poor William. He had a good soul, but was weak in spirit. He could not shake the thirst for booze, never mind blood. But have faith. My will is far stronger than his. Why did you kill Miss Jones at the Pembroke Hospital? Killed old Harriet? You must be mad, Doctor. Why would I do such a thing? So you claim Miss Jones' death was not by your hand, nor the other incidents at Pembroke? Though Harriet was an angry, spiteful woman, she was one of God's creatures. I have nothing but love for all he has made. But you were close to her. Of course. But she was lost, separated from the fold. She did not see the hand of the divine in my blessed condition. People have been murdered. I've seen the blood. I don't believe you can be trusted. Have a little faith, Doctor. If you will follow, I will guide you to the light. How do you plan to do that? Take this key of the old sewers. The entrance is by the riverbank, south from here. There you'll find all the proof you need. I will not look kindly on you if you're trying to trick me. I'll be here when you return. If you still think I'm a threat then, well, I surrender myself to your judgment. We shall have a good chat later, Dr. Reed. Vampire. Good evening, Mr. Throckmorton. Dr. Reed, can I be of any assistance? Have you noticed anything suspicious lately? Never faced, let alone killed, a vampire, Ichabod. You're a fraud. No, I'm not. I may embellish the truth concerning my achievements, but I'm totally dedicated to my quest. Stop fooling yourself. You've never faced a vampire before. You wouldn't stand a chance. Well, that's not true, sir. I've already faced one of these creatures. Oh, really? <laughs> and you're still alive. Well, we... We did not actually fight. 
I let it go. What do you mean? I entered the vampire's den. Oh, the stench was terrible. I was ready to kill it. But then I saw it. Just a suffering soul like you and me. I spared her. Tell me about the vampire you spared. It was... She was a girl. Her body was a mess. I could see pus running from the deep wound. She was crying in pain. You cared about her. That's what defines us as human, Ichabod. Yes, but she was a truly evil creature. I'm haunted by the tragedies she caused ever since I spared her. I'm afraid your posters were destroyed. It cost me good money to print those posters. Such a pity people don't take the vampire menace seriously. Did you really think the posters would be useful? See the sad saint of the East End? How a single man can help so many people? I consider myself the discreet protector of these men and women. Goodbye, and good hunting, Mr. Throckmorton. This could be the public house Giselle Paxton mentioned. I should investigate that. Giselle's stolen money. Everyone has some unethical ways of financing their war.
it's locked, all right. That doesn't work. That doesn't work. That doesn't work. That doesn't work. So that's it. These wheels control the water level. That doesn't work. That doesn't work. It's locked. Maggots have escaped the wrath of Ascalon for too long. It is time to purge the sewers of their filth. You again. The one they call the Sewer Dog. Hold your tongue, newborn, or I'll crush you like a maggot. You've let the beast consume you. Finally, a touch of lucidity. I shall learn to respect the laws of Ascalon. <laughs> Ah! 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 Ah!
It's locked, all right. At least one skull escaped Fergal's wrath. The poor creature is bleeding to death. He cannot be far. How could he have made it this far? There's blood everywhere. This is our domain, not yours. You've been warned. Wait, I saved you from this creature. That must count for something. Thank you. Now go. Go back to the streets and houses. There is no love lost between us, vampire. But thank you. Sean Hampton sent me here. I believe he wanted me to find you. Who are you? If you must know, they call me Old Bridget, and this shelter is where we live. I'm Jonathan Reed. I'm a newborn Egon. I'm afraid I'm not sure what's going on. I shall not bend a knee, young Egon, but I sense your pain. Ask, and I will afford you my attention. Why was that creature after you? Fergal is the blunt instrument of the Ascalon Club. His masters would see us dead or turned into slaves if they had their way. What the hell was that thing? He wasn't an Ekon or a Skull. They are known as Volkhod, an ancient offshoot of immortals. Blood drives them, enrages them. What of this Ascalon Club? Vampire society's elite in the Empire. They make the rules and enforce their judgment upon us whom they see as lessers. So is it you that Sean Hampton sent me to find? Perhaps. The sad saint was always kind to us. He must trust you if he revealed our location. The guard of Prewan is hunting him. He is suspected of murder. The Skulls have always been hunted by humans and vampires alike. I teach them how to survive against the odds. Sean killed a patient of mine. And that's just one of the murders he's being hunted for. 
If you refer to Harriet, she is now among us and under our protection. Harriet Jones is alive. That's it. That's the proof Sean wanted me to find. I must talk to her. No. Harriet is not alive. But you can speak to her. I must warn you. She is fragile and may not receive you warmly. I don't understand. She is filled with bile and hate. Her mind is sharp as a tack, but her body is so weak. I've never seen its like before. She is resting in a room on the far right of this hideout. Thank you. I will bear that in mind. to trust. Your place is not here! We're at your mercy. Will you end up? Oh, Bridget, allow me to wander above some years back. Keep your distance, Echo!
Hello, Harriet. Do you recognize me? Hmm, yes. You were from the Pembroke Hospital. I have so many questions I need... I love questions. How do you feel? I can't see. I can't... Have you tried to eat? People here tried to feed me. Does the pain... It is not pain I feel. It's like... Your room. The blood. What brought you to fake your death in such a... To see if I would be mourned. Why flee? Oh, it's always a pleasure to see a saint fall to... Do you take pleasure in causing... Nobody gave a damn about me. Why did you... And why not? This is where I live now. Will you respect old Bridget? Bridget is kind. She only needs to... So you des... Yes. I'm with my own kind. I have a question of the utmost import. Questions? Questions? Do you remember what you did after leaving the hospital? Did you kill anyone? First, a question from me. You answer first. Very well, then. What do you want to know? Are you like me? Are you also dead? We are similar, but not the same, Harriet. I like what I am. I truly do. I know you fled the hospital with Sean Hampton. Did you or Sean kill anyone in your flight? Anyone? Try and remember. I will not lie. I wanted blood and I wanted revenge and Sean pulled me from it. Brought me here instead. But the shadows heard my prayers. The shadows killed that bastard. You sought vengeance by your own hand. I don't lie. I saw him near the docks and... Who was that man? He used to be my landlord. I lived here. Shadows? The shadows. They heard me. And these shadows, this presence? It spoke only to me. What makes you say that? It, it whispered your name, Dr. Reed. It wanted to know who you were and where you went. Questions about me? Nothing, Doctor. I said nothing. Have you found the answers you were looking for, young Ekon? There is too much left unanswered. Get to know us. Spend time with us. And I may be willing to answer more questions. Why do you live here? Amongst the filth and vermin? Live? What are you hiding? From the guilt? The shit? Why don't you leave the city? Hide somewhere far from the- We are the sewer skulls. This is our domain. We have run as far as we can. And now we hide. Your diction, your words. You didn't... True. I'm not like most skulls. You were once someone else. What happened to you? It is as sad as it is long, young Ekon. Can I be of... We ask but one thing. Reveal to no one our secrets. For how? Skulls have been hiding under London since vampires first entered the city. Where did you hide before the sewers? We claimed ancient tunnels, forgot. What manner of creature is Harriet? I really don't know. I'm not even certain she is a skull. I've no idea as to what blood made her. What is a skull, in fact, in your honest opinion? The progeny of a vampire. Disavowed by her maker. Perhaps a fruitless branch of a noble tree. A word used to enslave us. I cannot say. You mentioned that vampire blood has tremendous potency. You believe it to be stronger than your own? 
The vampire's sweet blood. That rich, dark wine that we crave. For it made us, and it can sustain us. I thank you for your time, madam. I must go back to Sean. Your kindness has been ample payment, Egon. To protect us, I'll close the access to our hideout, but you can use our shortcut to reach Mr. Hampton's shelter. Just follow the arrows. Thank you, old Bridget. Are you all right, sir? I could ask you the same question. Don't you know this is a quarantine? I'm Dr. Jonathan Reed. I'm oh, really? Well, going... I beg your pardon. I said... Sir, you... For fu It's my... I'm sorry. I see. Do you think... I cannot enter. <laughs> 